So guys, welcome. And this is gonna be a long-awaited and alter review. Yeah, we almost 400,000 might, and we're gonna reach that step just in a moment. And yeah, this is something you've been asking for, and I thought 400,000 might is a good milestone to show you what kind of heroes you need, what kind of, you know, inscriptions, enchantments, traits, etc. you need to reach 400,000 might. So, before we can do that, we need to get 400,000 might, don't we? And what I've been working on recently is my latest pumpkin duke. And for that one, what we need to do, we can just, you know, increase EVA one level or... Yeah, let's do that. Let's increase one level. Let's a couple of books. And there you go, 400,000 might. Now, I'll feel happy to do a alter review for you guys. So, it's gonna be a long video, so stay tuned. I won't be spending too much time on the heroes. You can always pause it and uh, see what talents, what crests it has, or it has. Because, you know, 87 heroes, that's gonna take a while if I do individually every single one. So, without further ado, let's have a look. So, overlooking, I have pretty much every single hero double evolved, level 200 apart from the last two and that's this pumpkin duke which is double evolved but still seven levels away from 200 and this athene which is single evolved but because i haven't decided if i really want her i'm keeping her as it is and the rest is just level 200 six blues six greens so you don't need to sacrifice blues or greens like some people do which are higher might than me to get more might, and I do like garrisons, and I think that they will come handy. Especially in Destiny now, you will need blue and green heroes. So, the way I'll do this is I'll go through talents through the main screen, which is gonna be like this. So, you'll see the skill, you'll see the talent, and then later on, I will go again through Walter and show you the crests, the inscriptions, uh, and then I'll show you the which enchantment it has and which traits it has. So, let's start with Paladin. So yeah, I have every single hero at least one copy of. I didn't know why I did that, but I knew that at some point in the future you will need that. And once I don't use, I usually skilled at least 8 or 9, and the rest you can see I just skill 10 of 10, most of them. There you go. I had a couple of copies of some more useful heroes like Anubis, Gunslinger, like this uh, slowdown one is purely for Lava, for IS. And yeah, if you have some questions then feel free to leave in a comment section, like why do I have, for example, two Skeleticas or two Walla Wallas, which ones I use, etc. Uh, feel free to leave a comment in a uh, question in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do so, check out our videos, and let's carry on. So there you go, most of them 10 of 10, some have new skins. I do have three Pumpkin Dukes, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. There you go, two Ronins, and this Pumpkin Duke, the last one that I've got, I've actually was opening cards and he was born with 5 of 5 and power and because I wasn't lucky to roll one yet I thought I can't miss this opportunity to level it up so that's why I have 3 pumpkin nukes now and blues or greens are all level 9 slowly getting to level 10 as I'm rolling some other heroes and there you go so these are the talents, these are the skill levels now crests most of them will be level 100 as expected. The ones I don't use is gonna be like uh, 98, 97, some of them. You can also see the crest, you can pause it if you want to. But yeah, most of the inscriptions are 100, as you can see here. Some duplicates will have a bit lower inscriptions and some newer heroes, which I'll come back in just a moment, will have a bit lower inscriptions, but yeah, most of them are just 100. So like the second Cupid, which is Rewrite 5, which I'm not really using anywhere, is 90. And I think the last Pumpkin Duke 
there you go, not this one, so these are hundreds. The crests I put in a way, so I don't need to change them a lot. The main exception is when I change crests, is when the Arc Demon is there. So there you go, you can see Pumpkin 90 and this 90, and Blues and Greece are just 85-ish, um, some are 90. There you go. So yeah, most crests as you've seen are basically stationary throughout most of the game modes. Uh, the only time I change a crest set is on this Anubis. So I change from Rewrite 5 to Sashield 5 and this Walla Walla. And I also change from Rewrite 5 for Lost Battlefield into Revive. So those two I change, the rest I just keep the same as we've seen, apart from uh, Arc Demon in uh, World Crisis. So there you go guys. <clears throat> so these are my crests, these are my heroes. Now, let's go back to enchantments and see what I have rolling there. Let me go to equipment. I'm just thinking easy way to do that. Might be this one just scrolling back. So you can see Paladin and also you can see the statistics. So I might not even need to do the trades because on here, on the screen at the bottom right, you can see <coughs> what kind of uh, statistics it has. So again, most of the enchantments will be level 5. Uh, there will be some exceptions with uh, level 4 uh, for the summons, like these ones. But that's purely because I haven't rolled level 5 yet and... I'm not trolling too many enchantments now, uh, to have most of them sorted. <coughs> so there you go, you can have a look. I was quite lucky to roll quite a few Victory Lunge, which I really like, and I think it's great talent. Uh, this one I'm talking about, Victory Lunge. So most main heroes and most of the Flame Guard heroes have Victory Lunge. There you go. So we are coming to an end, and here it is. I'm not sure about the uh, Espirita tal uh, talent yet, but yeah, that's what I have at the moment. So there you go. Most heroes, of course, are equipped. They've been augmented, all maxed out, and anything else missing from my collection. Of course, when a new, new hero comes, it's going to be a different story. Now, this guy we don't need, let's go to the altar. I have 224,000 fame in a warehouse and shards, uh, 225,000 shards, so yeah, pretty much the same amount fame and shards. Now, let's look at the warehouse. XP books, I usually sell these blue ones and the green ones, sometimes red, purple ones, just for... Uh, honor badges because we just get accumulated so quickly. Quite a few essences ready for new hero or pets to level up, some gold for Houston, uh, Lost Battlefield, uh, Lost Realm. Also, more than a million merits just waiting in the warehouse and another 170,000 fame, plus all those other goodies. Which I think, in total, if you count, you know, all these ceramic rocks, augmenting stones. And if you count the talent runes, it would be about maybe a million fame. I haven't actually calculated, but it, I'm pretty sure it's close to a million fame sitting there in a warehouse for various uses. Now, these ones I use now and then, but I will show you Lost Realm in a second. Some cards, lots of keys, of course. These ones I'm just not using, just accumulating, because I really don't need the resources for that. Was battlefield cards, some rewrite five talents, boxes, enchantment refresh cards, etc. etc. Evolution runes. Duplicate heroes. Maybe just been accumulating and being used for you know for destiny for augmentation, etc. etc. So these are here. Labyrinth chest, old ones, new ones. Which I will make a video opening them to see what kind of um, chances you have to get this new hero, Aspirita. Now, crest sets. Let's quickly scroll through them. You can see level 3s, level 4s are coming out. Now level 5s. 
So all these are unopened level 5 quest sets. There you go. Big variety of them. And I really don't need to use them because at the moment, you know, all my heroes have anything, everything that they need. There you go, level 4, level 5, some boxes, cards. Now these are guild chest 1 and 2, which are absolutely useless at this stage. Sharpened crest sets, level 4 chest, which I will make a video very soon, guys. So make sure you stay tuned. I will be opening f more than 500 of these level 4 chests to see if we can get uh, Walla Walla from it. Now, crests. You can see what kind of numbers I have there. I have, I think, 11 revived 5 crest sets, which uh, that's why. I like, you know, not change a crest because when I put the crest set on a hero, it just sits there really nicely and it works really well for my setups. Some of the other ones you can see, you know, getting to a thousand. Once I get close to a thousand, I just sell uh, like a few hundred for the blue crystals. There you go. So these are my crests. Lots of sprint ones other ones and of course you saw the full level 5 crest sets on my heroes already in a previous description when we were going through them I think I also have two level 5 uh, side shield 5 crest sets and one level 4 and lots of space in the warehouse because managing it keeping your crests tidy I think is really really important and it makes it easier to find things and to use them so that's that. Now, my pets. Chicka Boom level 35. Angel. We can take the 35 because I've been waiting for, you know, to get over 400,000 might to make this video. So, Mini Angel. Chicka Boom level 35. Elephant is getting there. Little Havoc is getting to 32. Now, this dude. There you go level 26 now Rudolph I've been waiting waiting that's gonna go to level 19 even there you go it will be skill 7 level 19 Rudolph and the rest are just level 35 for ages so you can see for example Aurora I have almost thousand of them as a, you know spare when the new levels come out and I'm actually curious what's going to happen when I reach 999. Will it just go further or is that going to be a cap? So yeah, you can see loads of them. Um, level 35 and lots of spare ones when it comes out. Eggs, 500, 300, 300. And I've mainly been using uh, green ones during the day because I log in regularly. When I go to sleep, I put, let's say, two green ones and one blue or one purple. And uh, when I wake up, I have two used ones and one last one just finishing up hatching. So, that's been that. What else? What else I can show you? In here, we can see all the heroes, all the soul stones. You can see how many soul stones I can claim for each hero. So, I have four Skeleticas waiting in here. Michael, Lil Nick, Demogorgon, and you can see hundreds and hundreds of soul stones for pretty much every single hero. Look at <laughs> almost 1800 Skull Knight soul stones. So basically, I haven't claimed any heroes from here since they came out. There might be like one or two newer ones, maybe Skeletica when it first came out. Was from Soulstones, but the rest has just been, you know, accumulated from uh, those Soulstone boxes and crests. So there you go. Okay, have a look. And the newest, newest ones, of course, I will not have Soulstones yet because they've just been recently released. And Lava, because I haven't opened many boxes, I don't have that one as well. So there you go. Some are really close, and of course none for Destroyer, Minotaur, Spirit Mage, and I don't know why they even released that, because I haven't seen any Soulstones being opened for these three heroes. 
the rest are just there. Um, next thing was Battle Lost Realm. That's pretty standard. Uh, it's been level 30 since a year ago, maybe. Um, I have a video of that as well, what happens when you reach level 30. Uh, blue crystals I usually keep around 10 million. Uh, that's when the new hero comes out, so I can max it out straight away. Uh, red crystals, again, I don't really need to, you know, to combine anything, to forge anything, so it's been sitting there and just accumulating. And now, let's go claim this altar, and for this Lost Realm, I most of the time keep uh, Lost Realm Demon Team, that's to help my guildmates or all the friends that I have, is to help them with the uh, demon that they get. There you go, so I usually keep this team uh, to help all my friends, all my guildmates, and as you can see, it really does not affect anything, and I encourage everyone to do that the same. There you go. The same for Labyrinth. Um, where is that? The same for Labyrinth. I usually keep this kind of team, which still gives, you know, 22,000 might, but it's quite easy to beat this team and still get about 2,000 points. So it just helps other people that meet me in the labyrinth, you know, to get more points and to go advance further into the journey. And what else? The base, Guild Wars. You can see we did quite well. You can check my previous video for the Guild Wars. So we did quite well, we got 1800 fame. And I'll be able to raise might even more. Because, yeah, number 9, so we can probably overtake to number 7, or, yeah, to become number 7. There you go, guys. Dungeon-wise, I don't have 840 fame, but I haven't been trying hard. Of course, sweeping 710. And for Hebrew Monster, sweeping AG. Uh, Lava 4, IS 1 and 2. Arena doesn't really matter, this one usually invincible was battlefield depends on the day but most of the times you can see in top 100 arena, I'm not bothering too much just you know, doing my free runs that's about it so yeah guys um, let me know if, you, if I missed anything but I think I've covered pretty much everything so, a few warlocks from the past when I was sniping, still haven't leveled up at War God because it was not necessary. Arctica mainly for lava, lava four, and this one for demon in Lost Realm. Green fins since the past, not used, mainly using my um, flame guard Michael with rewrite five. Stone skin is not used, and the same with Anubis, mainly using Flame Guard and not Bulwark. Same with this guy, and with this guy, and this guy. So, yeah, guys, that's what I'm rolling with. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, now, about this Athene, I'm not too sure. Like, there is one hero spot which I haven't decided who to use in the last spot, that's why she's still single evolved. And three pumpkin dukes, which I have stone skin and berserk, are not really needed. Like this one is really handy in uh, Infernal Summit 2 uh, because it can just live. In arena it can just live. In player versus player it just lives and stacks and lives and stacks and buffs everyone. This one is awesome for Arc Demon for Lots of game modes actually, and I will make a separate video about it as well. So, so yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Um, anything that can be improved, also let me know what you think. And if I missed anything, I'll be looking forward to reading your comments. These things, of course, is gonna be maxed out, and the same with Ifarox. 
slowly accumulating, feeding some books now and then until the new hero comes out so we can just max it out straight away. And yeah, that's what it is. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it guys. I hope I did not miss anything. And there you go. All coupons of the maps obtained. So you can change that for a new one anytime. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Last few things. Garrisons, of course, is going to be all level 9. And that's it. So yeah, thanks for watching a lot. And I'll see you in the next video very shortly, guys. And thank you for all your support. I really, really appreciate that. So yeah, take care for now. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.